Hey beautiful soul. In this video I just want to share an idea that I got some some time ago and it's an idea that's been bringing me a lot of happiness so that's why I want to share it with you. It's just a, a little cute idea and it's the answer on the question why do we find ourselves in a world so full of shit? I mean excuse my French and um <laughs> Also, you know, like from a certain perspective, it's all completely fine. But yes, things happen like, you know, um, environmental disasters, factory farming, wars. So why do we find ourselves in a world so fucked up? So um, I had to think about the time when I was, maybe I was, I don't know, somewhere like primary school and... Um, my father brought from his work this old computer he was allowed to take it home and it was like a windows 95 big computer right <laughs> you know those ones um and they used to have this game i think the english pronunci pronunciation should be tetris or i don't know in dutch we call it tetris I don't know what. Anyway, you know the game with the blocks falling down and you have to turn them around and make them fall into one line so that the line disappears, right? So you have to kind of keep the slate clean. And I liked this game the most when I would play it in a certain mode that would start with like uh, some kind of messy first lines, like randomly organized blocks in the first lines. And you have the challenge of cleaning those lines out then. I love that. That was the thing I loved the most about that game. Um, and I have quite some friends I told this and they were like, yeah, me too. Maybe you too. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, it, this is just such a beautiful metaphor for how we can start to love the struggle of finding ourselves in a world like this. It's absolutely wonderful how uh, seeing the, the shit around you can inspire you to make something beautiful happen. Like in my lifetime, I want to do something great and something good. And I meet many people who want to do the same. And we all feel so inspired because we live in the contrast of seeing stuff that's not working. And now we want to make it work. And wouldn't life be maybe less interesting if we wouldn't have this challenge? So let's clean up those first lines and then we can start building something beautiful, you know, on a clean slate. And now we just get born into this, uh, this world and let's love it. Let's love the challenge. Don't we all love a challenge? Maybe for you it was another game. Uh, maybe you've played just like me, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and you like to get the the amusement parks with lots of big problems like death or something. Isn't that fun if you're playing a game? <laughs> but isn't life a game? And can't we even leverage this metaphor to all things in life? Like, for example, I have on this moment debt in my life, like financial debt. Can I see that as a game? You know, like, isn't all life just a challenge, just a game? Games are the most fun if they challenge us. Otherwise, we stop playing very, very often, quickly. <laughs> all right, I wish you much fun with your challenge, your life. <laughs> and let's clean up this world and start something beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want updates, subscribe. And that's it. Bye, beauty.